to do this. Mm -hmm. Do you have a mentor or someone who inspired you? Uh, yes, I do. Um, Barry Gordy, Diana Ross, um, Thomas Edison, Walt Disney, James Brown, Jackie Wilson. And what have you learned from them? I learned a lot from them about how to be a visionary, how to be creative, how to be persistent, how to be determined, how to have a will of iron, and to never give up no matter what, you know? Oh, that's good. And what was your first job in the music industry, and how did you get it? First job, probably, gee, I don't remember back that far. I was around <laughs> six years old. <laughs> it was, uh, the first time you... Mr. Lucky's, I think it was a club. Yeah, Mr. Lucky's. We performed there. And how'd you get the job? I don't know. My father would know. I was too little. <laughs> what was your first break and the first great thing that ever happened to you? The real big break was when Motown signed us. Uh -huh. We auditioned in Detroit. And Barry Gordy invited, I mean, our favorite stars that we saw as kids in this little town, Indiana. Mm -hmm. Diana Ross, Smokey Robinson, mm -hmm. you know, The Miracle, The Temptations, and uh, Stevie Wonder. Everybody was there. And it was next to his indoor pool. It's this huge mansion, marble everywhere. And we performed, and they just went crazy. They loved it. He says, boys, you're signed. Really? Yeah. And, we and you remember signed. that day? Oh, I remember. And, and okay, and what elements of your job make you want to go to work every day when you do? I want to work every day. Just the idea of creating worlds. It's like taking a canvas, an empty canvas, you know, a clean slate. Right. And give you paint. And you just color and paint and create worlds. Right. You know, I just love that idea. Anything. And, and have people see it and they're awe-inspired. Right. After they see it. Okay, what qualities most help you get to where you are today? Faith and determination. And practice. Right. Practice makes perfect. Okay, what would you have done differently in your career if you knew then what you know now? What would I have done differently? Uh, let me see. If you knew what you knew now. Yeah, I know. Practice more. Practice more? I practiced a lot. <laughs> you practiced a lot. <laughs> but you even to practice more? Oh my god. Okay. What is your greatest lesson learned? Not to trust everybody. Mm. Not to trust everybody in the industry. There's a lot of sharks. And record companies steal. They cheat. Uh -huh. You have to audit them. Mm. And it's time for artists to take a stand against them. Mm -hmm. Because they totally take advantage of them. Totally. They forget that it's the artists who make the company, not the company who make the artists. Without the talent, the company would be nothing but just hardware. I mean, just, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, it takes that real gut talent that the, that the public wants to see. Mm -hmm. What are some of your favorite albums? My favorite albums would be um, Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker Suite. Uh, Claude Debussy's uh, Greatest Hits, which is, you know, Claire de Lune and Arabesque, uh -huh. and Afternoon of a Fawn. Uh -huh. um, I love Marvin Gaye's What's Going On, uh -huh. James Brown Live at the Apollo, um, Sound of Music. I love Rogers and Hammerstein. I love the great show tune writers very much, and I love Holland Doja Holland. From Motown, they were geniuses. So many great writers, so many great ones. And any other great albums, like contemporary albums? Uh, great albums. It's hard because albums today they have one or two good songs and the rest yeah. stink, you know. Yeah. Or older stuff. I mean, it could be like okay. Marvin okay. Gaye. Like, okay. Yeah. Or um, Sly. Sly and the Family Stone, I like everything they do. <laughs> um, Stevie Wonder is, is a genius. Everyone, uh, uh, Talking Book, um, I love the one where he did Living for the City, I forget the name of yeah. it. Yeah, 
Fantastic. I think that was uh, Songs in the Key of Life. Yeah. Right. Fantastic. Uh -huh. And hearing his music made me say to myself, I can do this, and I think I can do this on an international level. Really? Really. And um, then when the Bee Gees came out in the 70s, that did it for me. I, cry, I cried listening to their music. I knew every note, every it's instrument. It's broken heart. Yeah. How um, can you mend that one? It's broken, broken heart. heart. And I think <laughs> you stopped the rain. Fall down. I love that. How, How can you stop the sun, sun from shining? <laughs> when there is a world go round. I love that stuff. When it hit with Saturday Night Fever, man, that did it for me. I said, I gotta do this. I gotta do this. I know I can do this. And we hit with Thriller. I just started writing songs like Billie Jean, I wrote Beat It, Starting yeah. Something. And uh -huh. like, just writing, writing, and it was fun. A any posters in your bedroom as a kid, and of who? Yeah, mm, Brooke Shields. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere. My sisters would get jealous and tear them off the wall. <laughs> really? 